Smokers are us. Smokers Are Us is a family-owned smoke shop in northwest Portland. Up until a few days ago, employees and customers alike were preparing for a countywide ban on flavored tobacco. Jacob Fisher is a shop manager. It was a huge worry for me. I had no idea where I was going to go, what I was going to do. Multnomah County Commissioners approved the ban back in 2022, and it was set to take effect January 1st of 2024. But the Oregon Court of Appeals approved a stay, allowing shops like this one to keep selling while litigation continues. I'm sure we would find something to pivot to, but we would lose uh, such a tremendous amount of money. While the shop does sell other products, they say it's unlikely they'd be able to stay in business if the ban went into effect because the majority of their sales are flavored tobacco. At current, this is about 85 to 90 percent of our business. While vape and smoke shops across the county fight for their livelihood, others are in favor of the ban. Each day of delay leads to more kids being hooked on nicotine. Michael Cox represents Flavors Hook Oregon Kids, a group of more than 50 organizations from across the state working to enact a ban on flavored tobacco. We feel that tobacco products flavored like cotton candy shouldn't be sold here in the state of Oregon, that it's too easy for kids under 18 to get their hands on a product. But Fisher doesn't agree. I think that is an incredibly unfair argument. Uh, speaking as someone who grew up smoking cigarettes, right? Um, I think, unfortunately, kids are always going to be interested in things that are bad, right? Cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, etc.